And then on Tuesday, we announced the DC Multiverse. And, that, and, to, and to me, as a comic book guy, right? I mean, that's, that's my first business. That's my, I go, wow. All right, so before we start, I just want to say that I, I'm not hating on Todd. I buy all his McFarlane figures um, from the DC Multiverse. I really love them. I really love his work on the figures. But there's some questionable figures that somehow make it out to the uh, market, out of Target or Walmart, GameStop. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video about the quality control. So let's get started. Okay, let's talk about what's coming on Friday. You can finally again pre-order Batman Year 2 with the big giant K period right here. The one that has more problems that caused a lot of people to outrage and became one of people's least favorite figure which was supposed to be the greatest figure that McFarlane has ever made turns out to be being a big disappointment for a lot of people and that's being the Batman Year 2 which was made by Todd McFarlane based on his comic book art now there were few that were lucky and didn't have a broken arm and this is the problem that this figure had it had broken arms um, they easily popped out now you don't really hear much about this figure because it was horrible distribution even though my friend tried to re reset him again adding another date to when this figure was going to be available friday target.com hopefully we'll have a link for you and you can pre-order this it's going to be the only place in america that will actually have it for sale nobody else will have it but target.com no other account and no other store will have it so go and get it despite these problems it's a really cool looking figure i mean the arms you could just not use the arms and just put the cape because the big cape does not require it to you to have the arms but it's still a shame that a lot and i mean a lot of people had this problem with this figure mostly were the arms that kept falling off Sadly, this was not the case with only the Batman Year 2. Other figures have had this problem where they either pop their ball joint pops out or it just comes broken. The most recent one that I know of is the Batman Death Metal. The one you're supposed to put in the bat cycle. My arm broke on that figure and I barely moved it. I It just broke on me even though it was freshly out of the package. Now we're going to some figures that are not as bad as the ones i mentioned at the beginning but they do have some problem for example this batman from the batman movie they give this batman the unmaxed version if you can see from the back it has the cowl he, i mean here he has the freaking uh, cowl on but if you look closely he has a cowl in the back which is supposed to be for the batman unmaxed version as i mentioned and another problem this batman had was that uh, his <laughs> His stomach was the other way around. I don't know why. I don't know how my friend messed this up. But some figures had his freaking... Um, I think mine also has it. The I haven't fixed it. I just find it a bit funny on that, on that problem. And talk about funny. There's other funny problems in here about paint. Quality control on the paint. Um, as you can see, freaking Nightwing, Nightwing doesn't have... Well, he does, but they're looking the other way. <laughs> Um, Harley Quinn has a tattoo that's supposed to be, say no property, no one, but it says no, no, no on. <laughs> um, John Stewart is legally blind, I guess. And my Jonathan Kent is losing his skin. Um, I mean, that paint is horrible. I could just scratch it and it will pop, come out. And despite these problems, my friend is not able to help you out if you want to replace your figure. You have to deal with the. Uh, person that or the company that sell you the figure uh, like, just like I said in the beginning I don't I have no hate towards Tom McFarlane or the figures he makes I really love them I still collect them despite some of them having problems which I'll show here in the video um, some videos I recorded of my figures that have quite some problems some of them pop out really easy some of them broken some of the, the pegs doesn't doesn't want to move but with the price point of McFarlane um, what more can you ask from him 